Agency is currently commemorating the life and times of struggle activist Solomon Kalushi Mahlangu. He was convicted of a common purpose murder under the apartheid government and hanged back in 1979. Well, today's commemoration will include a visit to Khosi Mampur Recreational Center, this in Swane. And this is where we find ENCS Kylie Cleo Kumalo, of course, just to give us an update of what to expect there. Colleague, a very warm good morning to you. I suppose quite an important moment for the ANC to commemorate one of their own uh, stalwarts, Solomon Mahlangu. What is expected to take place today? Well, that's right, uh, Dumele. It's quite a very solemn moment as today marks exactly 42 years uh, since that very uh, fateful day where uh, Solomon Galushi Mahlangu was hanged. And of course, he was one of the youngest prisoners to have been hanged by the apartheid regime. So where we are standing is quite a very symbolic place, uh, right inside uh, the gallows. Uh, this is a place that was uh, dedicated to all those who laid down their lives. As you know, that our, you know so many uh, martyrs paid a very supreme price uh, for the freedom that we do enjoy today. And it's quite a very historical day as well, because you know the name of Solon Mahlangu continues to live among so many South Africans. You know, you go to Vat University, you know, a place used to, to be known as the Senate Hall today. It's known as uh, Solomon Mahlangu House. But uh, joining us now, Dumelo, is of course uh, Mr. Ngumalo. He's with uh, the Department of Correctional Services. So once again, sir, the, the importance of today from the side uh, of the department, especially because we know that uh, today we have a very progressive constitution. But just tell us about the significance of today. I think 42 years later, it does um, bring to the fore where we come from as a country and also that the freedom that we have today, you know, uh, we've got people who really, you know, had to put down their lives so that me and you, you know, can have the life that we have. And as correctional services, it was important that we preserve this kind of history. Hence, you know, we've, uh, we have these gallows today. And uh, even this moment being here does give you, and you know, that emotional chilling just being here. But, you know, as a department, you know, it's, it's, it's something that we said, look, we've got to preserve this place where, you know, uh, South Africa has a unique history where our, you know, uh, uh, political freedom go through the prison system. So as a department, you know, we are looking at not just at Hoshimambu, because we do have other gallows even in other centers like in, in, in Umtata. So it's, it's something that as a department we are looking to, to say how best can we preserve this history, the cells where some of the comrades um, were detained before the actual execution. And obviously, I mean, capital punishment has been abolished in South Africa. But in terms of the department and its work, I would imagine that one of the key mandates is to make sure that you change your image and, and be correctional services as opposed to, you know, just the prison system. It was important that, uh, you know, after 1994, we look at, you know, the type of system that we had because previously uh, prisons were basically warehousing people. So we said, you know, we've got to look into that, hence then the correctional system to say how best can we rehabilitate people, give them a second chance so that when they're out there, you know, they then realize that second chance and start to live, you know, a, a, a life which is totally different from what, uh, from what it was in the past. And also, you know, to, even to say to society, you may not have to come to prison for you to end skill or to start, you know, realizing that, you know, the life that you are living is wrong. Do something before you even come here. But those who find themselves with us, we are saying, look, the some of our freedom fighters, you know, for the battle for us. Let's, let us do something different. Hence, then, as correctional services were saying, it's no longer about just, you know, punishing those people. A mere sentence is a punishment, but how better do we equip those people so that they start to live differently? All right, uh, thank you so much indeed, sir, for your time. So in a matter of time or so, Dumela, during the course of the morning, we do expect uh, the family of Solomon Mahlangu to perform some rituals, but of course some ANC big wigs that we're expecting during the course of the morning also to attend proceedings are the likes of Treasurer General Paul Mashadile and of course uh, the DSG, that's of course uh, Jesse Duarte. But uh, uh, there's a very iconic quote uh, that... Uh, Sol Mahlangu gave uh, South Africa in 1979 to Mela. As he was going down here, I'm just going to request my colleague Mahomosa really to give you a sense. So this is a quote that he made as he was going down and being hanged. 
My blood will nourish the tree that will bear the fruits of freedom. Tell my people that I love them. They must continue to fight. And of course, it was a, a very historical moment, especially because the context of South Africa, it was a most repressive system of apartheid. But of course, uh, the concern now uh, is uh, a myriad of issues uh, that are facing uh, the youth in South Africa. And of course, the political home of Solomon Matlangu, the ANC is facing a number of challenges. Uh, the issues surrounding, of course, the Secretary General, uh, Mr. Ace Mahashule, you know, facing Facing a removal from the office, among other challenges. But, you know, when you go back to uh, the 1979 Dumelo, the, there was a wide international condemnation to Solomon Matlangu's killing, especially because a lot of people were saying how the trial was run. A, a lot of things were very inconsistent. Well, colleague, we'll leave it there, but we'll be sure to catch up with you, of course, as the family uh, is expected there, as the Treasury General, as you mentioned, Paul Mashatigli, including other ANC national and uh, top uh, NEC members.